ever feel like you're giving up on your coaching business just because it seems too overwhelming? This journey can be so tough, especially when motivation drops and it feels like it's easier to just stop. But don't worry, I got something special for you today. We're going to tackle the number one question that a lot of my members in the community had asked, how do I pick up my momentum and how do I actually keep forwarding so that every stage of your coaching business becomes easy peasy and how do you keep it moving forward? to me, I'm Michelle and I am a visibility marketing coach and I love helping female coaches to get seen, get hurt and get paying clients so that they can turn a passion for coaching into a profitable business. The start of the year kind of has its own rhythm. In January, it was long and then comes February, it's kind of short. Suddenly we're right into March and now we're towards the end of March. It just feels like everything just moving so fast and you feel probably a little bit behind and having a long list of to do is just not helping. You're simply playing catch up and there's no tomorrow. Things just keep showing up. This period can be quite disoriented and leaving you feeling a little bit out of sync with your goal. And it is not uncommon to feel that you haven't really progressed enough and maybe you're might be even on the edge of giving up. So today we're going to tackle that mindset hurdle that many coaches like yourself experience, especially during this time of the season on how to actually pick up yourself back up with that momentum so that you can keep crushing it. Today, I'm going to share seven steps of how I help my clients to regroup and set their priority in the upcoming quarter. So let's dive right in. Step one, brain dump all your to do. This is so counterintuitive. I know so many coaches out there helping their client mapping out their goal, but when it comes to themselves, this is where sometimes you don't realize you're falling short. So step one is to grab a big piece of paper. I recommend one of those post-it that you can hang onto the wall. And what you want to do is on that big piece of paper, have a list of all the things that you wanted to do. This include the personal aspects of your things. Maybe it's business related, maybe it's personal related. So what I recommend is you have two columns. One is the personal side and one is your business aspects of all the things that you want to do. You've been having this idea, you want to get started. Everything that's taking up the space inside your brain, you wanted to write it down, put it onto that piece of paper. There's something about writing things down that's just so powerful that it free up our mindset, it free up our brain power and space so that we can visually see what is it that we need to tackle. Which brings us to step number two. Earlier, I talked about dividing the column into two, personal and business. Our personal and business are interconnected, especially if you are a solopreneur. So divide your tasks and your priority into two sections, allow you to visualize and see what is it that you have to work on your personal aspects of things and what do you have to work on the business? Because the two will come interrelated to each other and they will interfere with your progress with how fast you move in one area versus another. This is going to help you to create a balance to ensure that every area of your life gets the attention that they deserve. Then step number three is to pick your top three priority. Circle on each category, each column, both your personal and your uh, business aspect. What do you want to do in the next 90 days? Obviously, you're going to have a long list of to-dos. I want you to focus on the top three that you absolutely believe that it needs to happen in the next 90 days. What are those top three priority? You're gonna circle them, both your personal column and also your business column. One of the priority in the next 90 day, it might be building a foundation to a full-time profitable coaching business. If that is you, 
my friend, I got great news to you because I am going to have a visibility marketing bootcamp coming up on April 15, where I'm going to walk you through the steps that you need on how to simplify your marketing, creating a brand message to attract your dream clients, and so that you can get your first paying client sooner than later. There's a link down in the description box below to sign up. I love to have you here in the visibility marketing bootcamp. Step number four is to rank your priority. After you have picked the top three priority on each of the column, what you want to do is you want to go back and give these a rating. So you're gonna rate them from the order of one to three. So one being the most important, most urgent things that you want to do. And the number three would be the least important and the last thing that's on your list, the last thing on the priority list that you have to do out of those three top priority. By doing so, this is going to help you to know and understand which task has the most significant impact to move your business forward so that you don't get stopped. Step number five is to identify the least important task that's on your list that you can solve quickly, effectively, and in the shortest amount of time. Knock those out, remove the distraction, and clear your path so that you can focus on your top priority. So you might be asking, Michelle, but what's the point of working on the least priority, the least important task? Don't I want it to start on the most important things? Yes, you're only half right, but the fact that this least important task have made it to your list, it's taking up the space in your brain power that you're constantly thinking about it in the background. You may not have noticed it, but the fact that it is your least important task, that you can easily take care of it, why is it even on your list, my friend? So by identifying the least important task and getting rid of it, it's going to help you to free up the space and time and energy so that you can actually focus in on the top three priority. I know you probably have never heard this before, but everything evolves around energy. If your energy is giving to the least important and somehow it made it to your list, it means that there's some kind of distraction and the energy that you're putting in just to think about it. So if you can take care of it quickly and eliminate the distraction, then you can divert that energy into focusing on your top three priority. Now, how cool is that? Which then brings us to step number six, which is scheduling and execute. This is the most important part of this whole entire exercise. By having this list in front of you, it will give you an idea of exactly what I need to tackle and what to do next. Now, you may realize that some of the items on your list is not within the season that you need to worry about in your coaching business. For example, if you're new to the coaching world, having a long and large membership website is probably not your priority in the current moment of your business. Your current goal is probably to narrow your niche, identifying your target audience, who do you want to talk to, and crafting that message so that you can start attracting them that would allow you to build your membership in the future. So you might have membership listed on your big to-do list, but that is something that you can tackle down the line. So when you look at your big giant brain dump of to-do list, Identify those that actually need your attention at this moment and right now in the current season of your business. So schedule them based on your number one priority on your calendar so that you can work your way down the list. Having a set of time focusing on each task can then dramatically increase your chance of getting it done. By following these six actionable steps, you're not only going to be able to keep your coaching business moving forward, but also maintain the motivation to keep crushing it no matter the season. Remember, success is in the progress, not perfection. Scheduling these priority and keep yourself accountable, this is why I recommend it. You put these tasks onto a big giant post-it so that you can see it on a daily basis, reminding yourself that you have a goal, you have the vision, 
And all you have to do is put it into the schedule and actually take action steps to watch your achieving these milestones one at a time. If you found this to be helpful, be sure to hit the subscribe and like button and also comment down below. Let me know what seasons of your business are you currently in and where you're feeling stuck. If you're ready to build your full-time profitable coaching business, come and join me inside the Visibility Marketing Bootcamp on April 15. I'm also giving away extra bonuses, resources that will not only help you to create a profitable plan, but also giving you the tools to get going. Until then, happy coaching. Bye for now.